hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are staying safe if you're new here welcome welcome this channel is for you if you're interested in sewing crafts diy projects and sometimes occasional travel content so please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on all the awesome content that i have for you to all my ogs welcome back you guys are absolutely amazing thank you for the support so guys the subscriber of this week is jenny space thank you so much for your beautiful heartwarming message i'm glad that you enjoyed it and i'm glad that you think the clots are giving all right guys the clots she's talking about is this one in question so last week i released the video showing you how to draft the pattern and this week we're getting the sewing instructions so go ahead sit tight and if you've caught your patterns let's get sewing so last week we cut up all these pieces and I don't know if you guys remember but go ahead and watch the video I have linked in the icons above as well as in the description bar and all the pieces we went ahead to you know overlock the edges using my Janome air threader machine it's an amazing machine so as you can see this is what it looks like it looks really neat and I feel like when you do this for all your clothes you just have the best results and really neat results so we're going to go ahead and start sewing and we're starting with the back pieces go ahead and take out the pins and then take out your pattern but before you take out the pattern and it's important that you mark your dart so i don't know how you guys mark your dart but i tend to you know just put a pin through and mark it up so go ahead and sew it along the crotch on half an inch sewing allowance as shown and then go ahead and sew your dart in place if it helps you you can hold it in pin with in place with pins or you can hold it in place with pegs and if you think like you're a pro go ahead and sew it but i always advise pinning your pieces together all right guys so this is my sewing machine i'm using the janome hd9 i huge shout out to janome this video is not paid it's not sponsored it's not paid but janome did send me this amazing sewing machines and i'm loving them they're literally the best machines and i recommend 100 percent they sew like butter and this is from the professional series so you can imagine how you know heavy duty it is so after sewing the dads and as well as the crotch area this is what it looks like at this point the back piece is nearly ready all right guys so moving on to the front pieces you want to go ahead and unpin it from your pattern paper and we're going to be doing something similar which is sewing the crotch and the dart so if you missed how i mark my dart this is how i mark it i put my um a pin through the dart apex and kind of mark it on the wrong sides of both pieces so again for the front you have two pieces and for the back you have two pieces as well now for the crotch it's a bit different because you don't sew the entire thing and that's because the zipper is going to be in front you want to measure the um, length of your fly and in this case it's eight inches and then you want to go ahead and mark some half an inch less than the length of your fly so i marked eight inches but ideally i should have been marking seven and a half inches and from that seven and a half inches point you want to sew all the way to the end so start from you know the seven and a half inches mark and then sew all the way to the end and this is what it should look like after sewing that and also after putting your dart in place so guys at this point this is the front piece as you can see it has the zip opening and then you're going to go ahead and place the back piece on the front piece so that the right sides of both pieces are facing each other so don't get confused what i'm doing is just basically placing placing the pieces on each other guys and making sure they align around the side seam now after doing that from the waist all the way to the hem i'm going to go ahead and sew it on half an inch sewing allowance on the left and on the right hand side so you're sewing the out seam or the out leg on half an inch sewing allowance guys just which is what i'm showing you now Alright guys, so after sewing the out seam, this is what it looks like as you can see, I've gone ahead to sew each side. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and hem our culottes and I start hemming from like the joining on the side seam as you can see, folding by half an inch and then fold it over by one inch. So hold it in place with pins or pegs again, whatever you prefer, I prefer using pins and then go ahead and you know, just hold the whole thing in place and then go ahead and sew it really. After sewing the hem, here is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks really nice and neat. I went ahead to give it a good iron for the best results. Now it's time to sew the crotch. So go ahead and lay your, pan your pants on the table make sure it's flat and then match the crotch area as shown so you want to start from the joining of the front and back crotch make sure they match hold them in place with pins as shown and then pin your way from the crotch to the hem on the left side and from the crotch to the hem on the right side so at this point guys it's very important that you take your time there's no point rushing and again like i said if you prefer to use pins use pins or if you prefer to use pegs go ahead and use whatever works best for you 
so I took the crotch area to the machine and when I had to sew it as well and here's what it looks like while being sewn on the sewing machine after sewing the crotch area this is what it looks like and now our pants are nearly finished the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and sort out our band cut out the band pieces i don't think we've cut that yet so again when i was cutting the first part i didn't show you guys how to cut out the band but it's important that we cut out the band now when i was drafting the pattern one thing i did was make a mark for the band and i remember telling you guys that i don't know why the band has to be this wide honestly guys your band does not need to be more than up to about two and a half well three inches i would say ideally but mine was going up to about four and a half inches which was unnecessary so go ahead and mark um cut out the band line from your pattern as shown and then close up the dart i say close up the dart because i don't think the dart is necessary however if you prefer to have darts in there all you have to do is sew up the dart but as you can see i'm using my paper tape and i'm just closing up all the darts and you want to close your dart so that the longer dart leg is resting against the shorter dart leg which is basically just the rule of thumb to find out which one is the longer dart leg you can literally just measure it but for me out of experience i kind of knew which one was the longer dart leg guys i could be wrong but you know go ahead and measure it and then go ahead and cut out the darts so when you're cutting out the darts it's important that in this case the center back is the one on fold guys note this the center back when you're cutting out the dart and um, the band is the one on fold and that's because the zipper is in front for this one so your front part must actually have like the allowance and what i did for the band is half an inch at sewing allowance all around however when you're doing yours i recommend that for the um, center front maybe add one and a half inches i added half an inch and it worked out fine but you'll see why at the end why i recommend one and a half inches for the center front part only so that means when you're cutting the front piece center front allowance is one and a half inches half um top part is half inch bottom part is half an inch and then you know the side is half an inch all right guys Now that the band has been cut, it's time to join the band. So go ahead and lay the back band, making sure the right side is facing you and then lay the front pieces on it and then make sure that the right sides of both pieces are facing each other. So you want to make sure that the sides seam match each other and then go ahead and sew the side seam on half an inch on the left and half an inch on the right as shown. After sewing, here's what the band looks like. And now guys, it's time to attach your band to your um. To your pants so ideally i actually think you should do this step first even though i left it to later and i'll kind of explain why there was a mistake when i was sewing making this clothes and i want you guys to learn from my mistake which is why i didn't edit it out so the next thing is to put your zipper i ordered red zippers but they didn't arrive in time so i'm using the black one just because i have no choice ideally you should be using the size of the gray zipper but then again i didn't have any of those sizes um in terms of like the fact that it's smaller at home so i was using the black one which is a bit wider but it had to work because i needed to make this tutorial on that day grab the fly piece and unpin it now remember we have two pieces at the end of the day you only really, really need one but it depends on you some people use two some people use one so now when it comes to the fly for women or men you know for men it's on the left hand side i believe but for women it could be on the left on the right or the right hand side there have been debates go ahead and place the fly piece on any side that you want making sure that the right side of the fly is against the right side of the of the fabric and then lay it over as shown and then go ahead and sew it on half an inch sewing allowance after sewing it this is what it should look like and make sure you top stitch now it's time to go ahead and fix the zip and i'll say that and mark half an inch now from the joining where you have the fly joining so where you join the fly to the main pants is where you start to mark your half an inch from and then go ahead and place the zipper on it as shown if you like a detailed tutorial showing you guys how to fix you know a fly properly and attach the zipper to a fly let me know in the comment section and i will do one for you however that's only if you guys want it because i don't want to be doing content that you guys don't want so the zipper in place and this is what it should look like so we're going to go ahead and do the other side and for that you want to make sure you zip your zipper i had to loosen up a stitch that was catching in the zipper tooth and that's why you see the like um the seam ripper so go ahead and flip it to the wrong side because i find it easier you know fixing the other part of the zipper when it's on the wrong side now like i said some people use the other part of the fly in this instance but i would not be using it the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have gone ahead to sew you know beyond where the fly starts and like i said in the beginning i marked eight inches instead of seven and a half which is why i have that gap so go ahead and sew it after sewing it in place we're going to go ahead and fix the zipper as shown so as you can see i went ahead to sew it in place 
place and then position the zipper and this is where the fly will be coming in just kind of to close the zipper if you wanted to and make it look neat but i personally don't see the point to it so i didn't use it so pin your zipper in place as shown and then go ahead and sew it on half an inch sewing allowance as well after sewing it here's what it looks like at this point our pants are nearly ready go ahead and zip it up check it in place remove every loose thread so it doesn't disturb the zipper and cut off the excess zipper again you should be really using eight inches zipper so there will be no excess but like i said i ordered it and it didn't come in time well i ordered it late and it didn't come in time um, I like to finish my zipper like this when I cut it off just so it looks nice and tidy so I just go ahead and pipe some fabric on the end but like I said you probably would have to do this because you'll be buying zipper that is the right length so don't be like me all right guys let's flip our fabric over to the right side and now it's time to kind of draw the um sew in the fly curve so for the fly curve go ahead and hold the fly as it should be and you can see that the zip is hiding beneath on well behind it and pin it in place just like I have done all the way from the um, crotch area to the top. After doing that with your chalk or um, tailor's chalk or pen, um, tailor's fabric marker, go ahead and mark one, one inch one inch to one quarter so that's 1.25 inches now when i say all those things you guys sound confused sometimes please watch the video i have on teaching you how to read a measuring tape i feel like it will help you and i've linked it in i cards above so please watch it now draw the curve as shown and this is what it should look like so just draw it and um, follow the curve and sew it as shown follow the line and after following the curve, um, sewing along the curve, this is what it looks like. And what you do is this just holds the fly in place at the back and just gives it a nice, you know, little fly for a feminine trousers. Now, the next thing to do is to sew your band in place. I'm going to start from this other side and I'm going to pin the band starting from the edge, making sure all the side seams are aligned. And you'll see that in a second that I'm very particular, particular rather about the side seam align aligning so oh god guys english is hard today <laughs> i said that every week okay so guys go ahead and you know hold it in place all through the end of the band as shown and then go ahead and sew it on half an inch sewing allowance at this point you guys really realize my mistake now when i was doing this pants initially i initially wanted to do something that had a band and i wasn't really thinking it through and then halfway through i decided to go bandless and that's when i found out that i had messed up so after sewing it, this is what it looks like. And at this point, when I was doing the fly, I just noticed that it wasn't going to be fine because it was going to cover up my zipper. So I knew that I had to take out the seam. So I took out the seam, you know, of the band to the zipper, just a little bit, which is what I'm showing. And I also took out the zipper as well. And I took out the curve fly thing that I did on the top. And that was because I needed to fix this. So the best thing to do is to sew your band in place as shown. After sewing the band in place, you should get something like this. Go ahead and top stitch all the way. After top stitching, this is what it should look like. Now, the next thing to do is to fold it over as shown. And why you're folding it over is that so that the zipper can rest on the band and the main fabric, right? Again, remember that initially the band was going to be covering the zipper, which is not right. It doesn't make any sense. So I don't know what I was thinking. But this is the best way that I found to do it if you're making it bandless. So go ahead and hold the band in place and then put your zipper you know against it again which is why i was saying that when you're doing the band make sure you add about one and a half inches sewing allowance as opposed to half an inch sewing allowance to the center front now after doing that you want to go back and sew the zipper in place like you would or like it was so sew it in place again so that it's not covering the band and this is what it should look like now go ahead and you know finish it up the way it was so go back and sew the curve as shown now when you do that you find out that it's all good and this is what it looks like at this point it's okay there's no problem with it this is actually how it should be so i corrected the mistake that i made earlier and you know i'm only showing you guys because i don't want you guys to make a mistake so when you're doing this take note of it i'll say sew the band first before even doing the zipper and the fly so that that way you can finish it properly but again it's weird because on the other side the band makes it neat so i don't really know guys i don't know what order you should be following i'll say maybe follow the order in the video which mean you taking out some seams at some point but i guess you have a very neat result which is what i was going for neatness quality over you know the time taken all right guys so at this point we're done with the pants this is what the pants look like 
um yeah culottes are a bit hard to style how do you guys style your culottes do you enjoy styling them i find it very hard to style so i personally don't wear them but i just wanted to make this tutorial for you guys i wore this to church and i felt a bit weird but you know it worked it worked out it worked out all right guys we come to the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching it i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was worth your while if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't thank you and see you next week bye guys